Welcome to New Providence Baptist Church. As we begin our service today, I invite you to stand and sing with us. You've heard this song a couple of weeks now, and we're going to celebrate today because there is joy in the house of the Lord today. That's what you're here for, uh, and it's going to be great. I promise you. Mitch has been working. Mitch and the choir, we've been working really hard on this and going to present a, a good program to you. A few announcements for this week. Uh, this Wednesday night, we are having a business meeting at 6.30. We're going to be voting on the budget for the next year, so that's very important. Uh, if you need to see that before Wednesday, it is out back on one of the tables out there, so grab you one as you go um, and come Wednesday night to uh, vote on that. 
um, this Thursday night. Very important, very uh, cool event. We're doing uh, Anna's dinner at 6 o'clock. Um, this is for the widows of the church. If you have not received your invitation yet, please uh, get with Deb as soon as possible. She needs to know within the next day or two uh, who is coming so we can make sure we have the right amount of food and stuff like that. So please RSVP for that if you have received your invitation. If you did not get one for whatever reason, please let us know so we can make sure we get you counted and, and coming. Um, next Sunday night at 6 o'clock, we're going to be doing the children's Christmas program, so we would love to have you, uh, this many people, if you're here this morning, we we'll want to have you back next Sunday night uh, to help support the children as they come to do their uh, Christmas musical that night. And then the last thing, coming up Christmas Eve, uh, mark on your calendars at 5 o'clock, going to be doing a Christmas Eve service, just lasts about an hour, but we would love to have you with us for that, always um, a special time and going to be special um, again this year. And I think that is it, um, and I will pray, and then we will continue on with the program. Father, I love you. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this time that we have together. Father, I pray that you would um, just bless us as we get ready to uh, lift up praises to you in song this morning, God, as we uh, present the gospel in song and, and, and just talk about the wonderful birth of Jesus and the, and the reason why he came uh, to live the life that we couldn't live and die the death that we deserved. Father, I pray that you just bless the time. We, we love you and thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
voice with heaven's throng, send out the message that goes on and on. A Savior has come, Emmanuel, tidings of joy to the earth, go and tell. Oh, what a story we have to share with the world. What a message of hope and joy and redemption. And that message is Jesus, the hope of Jesus, the joy of Jesus, the redemption that is found in no other name but Jesus. And Jesus is the reason we have gathered here today. We have met in this place to lift our praise, raise our voices, and worship God's most precious gift, his son, Jesus Christ, who was born to bring us everlasting life. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come, oh, come let, let us, us adore, adore him, him, Christ the, the Lord. Lord.
Christmas is a story of worship. It's a story of bowed heads and upraised hands as God's people awaited the coming Messiah. Christmas is a story of praise. It's a story of an angel, a young Nazarene girl, and a heavenly promise. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God and will be with child and give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And Mary responded in praise, worshiping God and saying, My soul is glorified in the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. Does your soul glorify the Lord today? Does your spirit rejoice in God our Savior? The Mighty One has done great things. He has given us His Son, and His name is Jesus.
Jesus is born. Hallelujah. Let us hear you proclaim it. Jesus is born. Say it again, for the earth shall shout. Hallelujah. And the heavens reply. Hallelujah. Emmanuel has come. God is with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Jesus entered our world, not with earthly power or position, but in the simplicity of a manger, not with thunder and fanfares, but with the soft lullaby of a mother's and father's quiet smile. But on a hill over Bethlehem, it would not stay quiet for long. The shepherds and their families were awakened by a brilliant light and a joyous declaration. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, the highest. highest. And, and on, on earth, earth, peace, goodwill good toward men. men. And the shepherds ran to find the Savior that had been born for them in a manger. And there they knelt and offered the praise of their lips and the worship of their hearts.
the shepherds would not be the only worshipers to kneel before the Christ child. Far beyond Bethlehem, in a distant land to the east, a brilliant star called three wise men on a journey to find the newborn king. The road was rough and dark, but they had an unwavering light to guide them. And when at last they found the one whose coming had been foretold, they bowed down and offered him gifts of riches and of praise. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, come, let, let us, us adore, adore him. him. Christ, Christ the, the Lord. Lord. There's a song in the air. There's a star in the Silence is broken with the baby's low cry. And the star rains its fire while the beautiful sea. For the manger of Bethlehem cradles the key.
sing it with the angels. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Shout it from the temple. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Tell the nations of the world today, tomorrow, and forever. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest. Gloria. Glory to God, for Jesus is born. The voices of praise have echoed across the centuries. The song of the angels is also the carol on the local street corner. The words of the prophets are embossed on our family greeting cards. The testimonies of Christmas are strong and enduring. We are better throughout the year for having, in spirit, becoming a child again at Christmas time. Laura Ingalls Wilder. The only real blind person at Christmas time is he who has not Christmas in his heart, Helen Keller. God bless us, everyone. Tiny Tim from Charles Dickens. The testimonies of Christmas are as true today as the day is when they were first uttered. They have a special power to speak to us today if we will only listen. More than 150 years ago in Cambridge, Massachusetts, a man woke up on Christmas Day in deep despair. It was 1864, the darkest days of the Civil War. He was a writer by trade, and not only had he recently lost his wife in a tragic accident, but now his oldest son, a lieutenant in the Army, lay gravely wounded, fighting for his life. But then, as the first light began to dawn, the hope that Christmas promises each of us washed over him and Henry Wadsworth Longfellow took his pen and began to write. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, that old familiar carol play, the wild and sweet, the words repeat, of peace on earth, goodwill to men. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play.
peace on earth, goodwill to men. Jesus was born to bring us peace, a peace that surpasses understanding, not a peace absent of worldly conflicts, but a peace within each heart. He would one day say, peace I give you, reminding us that though we will have trouble during our lives, he has overcome the world. Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Prince of Peace, our Emmanuel. And all of this, all of this, took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and she shall bring forth the son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. How we worship you, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, you alone are worthy of our praise. God, God is, is with, with us. us. Anticipating the coming of the King, the one who would fulfill the prophet's word. He left his splendor, born in a manger to rescue and redeem. Emmanuel, the hope of
Heavenly Father, Creator and Holy God, thank you. Thank you for Christmas. Thank you for the manger. Thank you for the cross and the empty tomb and heaven's throne. Thank you for sending your Son into our dark and lost world so that through his death and resurrection, we can know your light, we can know your grace, and we can know your joy, peace, and life everlasting. And for this, we give you all our praise, all our worship, and all our hearts today and forevermore. In the righteous, exalted, and saving name of Jesus, amen.
Well, let me just say, wow. <laughs> and let me just say, if you cannot say, wow, you need to ask the Lord to forgive you right now. You say, well, that, that's kind of harsh. Well, I don't know about you, but I live in a world today that is kind of harsh. They're tough on everything else, except when you come to church, you're supposed to be all cool and quiet. I don't know about you, but I don't like that. <laughs> I've been sitting in the back back there this morning enjoying watching you worship. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just need that in my heart. We get all these things going on and they get us sidetracked and we forget about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I mean, have you thought about what he's done for you? Well, I've had a tough year too, but he's still king of kings. <laughs> I've had a rough couple of weeks, but he's still <laughs> on the throne. He provided everything I've needed in the last couple of weeks. Took me, got me the directions where I needed to be, got me there at the times I needed to be there. Even on the days when <clears throat> I kind of pushed him to the side so I could get done the things that were on my list. Even in those times, in those days, he's still king of kings. He still came down out of heaven. And if he didn't come for you, he came for me. <laughs> but the good news this morning is he came for all of us. Now, obviously they love to sing. Now, obviously they love to have a good time while they're doing that. But, but they did it this morning so that you could enjoy what God has done through them. But if you can't enjoy it beyond measure today, maybe it's because something's in the way. Maybe you're like me in the last couple of weeks. You've let other things get in the way. You've had to check the things off your list and you just forgot about him. Maybe you're here because somebody invited you to come today and you, you've never asked him to be in the center of your life. Now, I've asked him to be in the center of my life, but sometimes I still push him to the side doesn't mean that I'm lost now. It just means that I'm out of fellowship with him. And all I have to do is come back to him and say, Lord, forgive me. Wow, and he puts me right back in the spot where I was when I first asked him to be Lord and Savior. What do you need to do today? Uh, let me ask you the <clears throat> tough question. Will you do it today? In this little moment right here, I'm just going to ask you to bow your heads. If you want to come to the altar, you're welcome to do that. But if you're here this morning and <clears throat> you just need to say, I, I need you to pray for me. I need to get some things straightened out in my life. I need to talk to the Lord. Maybe if you're in that setting, would you, you don't want to come down front and talk to us, that's okay. But just slip your hand up. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. We're, I promise you we'll pray for you this week. I, I'll, I'll take time out of my day, thank you. I'll take time out of my day today to pray for you. Any others?
Now, if you've never asked Jesus to come live in your life, to be Lord and Savior of your life, I'm not going to ask you to lift your hand. I'm going to ask you to stand up and step out and come down. Because it's your day. If you need to come, come on right now. If you've never asked him to, today's the day. Do you need to come? While, while just the piano's playing, folks are praying, maybe you need to come today. God has ordained this moment, this moment in time for you. All right, one last question. While your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed, would you just say this this morning? I should have come, but I didn't come. I, I, I know I should have stepped out, but I didn't do it this morning. Would you pray for me? Would you just lift your hand up? All right. Any others? All right, any more? I should have stepped out, whatever the reason, but I didn't do it. Will you just remember me? Father, we come to you right now, ask you to cleanse and forgive us. Lord, you know our hearts and you know our minds. You know every little detail about us. And honestly, Lord, some days I think that's good and some days I don't think it is. That you know every little thought and you know every little thing that I do. I, I'm personally, Lord, I'm sorry for those times I've embarrassed you. Those times I've let you down. Lord, I pray as they sang just a minute ago that my song will never stop. May the joy of my salvation continue forever. No matter what rolls up my way. Lord, I pray that I will always be one of yours. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Brother Mitch, you got one more song in you? All right.
Thank you all very much for coming out this morning, and we hope you not just enjoyed, but worshiped with us this morning. Uh, victory has a name, and it is Jesus. Redemption has a name, and it is Jesus, and it's in that name that we gather every week and every time we, we come to this place. So as we leave, I speak the name of Jesus to you. Let's pray and be dismissed. Lord Jesus, there is something about that name. And in the midst of whatever we find ourselves, whatever circumstance or condition or, or whether we're in a place of, of joy and peace or brokenness and hurt, God, you are still God and Jesus is still the only name that we need because in that name we do have victory. We have redemption, we have hope, we have peace. So as we reflect on this Christmas season and the gift that we have received, God, may we be very faithful about sharing that gift as we go. May we speak the name of Jesus every time we wish someone a Merry Christmas. God, every time we, we go out, may we realize and remember that we carry hope with us into the darkness that so desperately needs it. Father God, again, thank you for this morning. Thank you for your word that became flesh and dwelt among us, that made a way through his blood and sacrifice to come to you. God, we thank you. We love you. We praise you. We worship you this morning. In Jesus' powerful, precious, holy, matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much.